I have an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with the world's greatest dog. This is Dylan, who won Best in Show across 2019. He's kind of a big deal around here. He's used to all of these cameras, all of the attention. He's like the Brad Pitt of the dog world. So he is a proper yon, which is butterfly in French, and I think he'll agree, he is as beautiful as a butterfly. I don't even think he's been through that ugly caterpillar stage. I mean, his hair's nicer than mine, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. Just how, I, I need to know, and I think everyone who has a dog at home will want to know, how do you get your dog to be as beautiful as Dylan? And to just be, to be best in short, well, Kathleen is here to give us all of the info. Kathleen? Hi Scarlett, Hi. hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good. So you were the proud owner of Dylan. I am, I am. What, what was it like to invest in Shaw? Oh, it was amazing. It's like, for us dog show people, it's like the ultimate dream. So to invest in Shaw at Crafts is, it's, I will remember forever. Oh, how, how do you even start to, to groom? Dylan to become best in show. How does it? How will I make my dog? Well, I think like there's, this? there's the four factors. The first factor is genetics. Uh, they have their looks. They have the way they are built and have their coats. The second is for sure good food. Third is good shampoo. Yeah. What shampoo does he use? He's using a, a brand called Chris Christensen. The absolute best for me and. and it smells nice, it feels nice. And, can and can it, I use that on my own hair? Because for I'm, sure. I'm, 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 I'm using it on yeah, mine. I was yeah. going to say, like, both of your hair is beautiful. I often run out of shampoo and I, I always have dog shampoo, so it <laughs> happens often that I, I'm smelling like dogs. <laughs> and what was the fourth? The fourth is passion. You need the passion to, like, Aww. yeah. First, the love for the dog and the passion to yeah, take care of them 34 7, 7 days a week and 24 hours a day. This is my first time in Crufts and like, it's just, all of the dogs are so beautiful, but yours has the trophy to prove it. Yeah, super. <laughs> Happy you're enjoying. <laughs> so I have always wanted to be able to handle dogs. I've always wanted to be able to dog handle. And now I'm going to be cheeky and ask you to teach me because then I am learning from the best. Is that okay? Okay, let's do it. Yes. Let me show you how we okay. do a straight up and down. Yeah. If you just ask the dog's attention. You know. You know. You give it a go. If you have this and you yeah. have his attention, he will do fine. Okay. Right. Come on, Dylan. We've got this, haven't yeah. we? Okay. Than it looks. I think I think we did perfect wow. there, Dylan. <laughs> you were super. What are you doing on March 12th next year? Oh, I don't know. Why? You're my handler next year. <laughs> this is an honour. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually more. It is diffi more difficult than it looks. Oh, it's quite. If you do it a lot as a habit, and you have a good bond with the dog, it gonna, gets better. Yeah, it's because like yeah. Dylan's like your best friend. Yeah. So I think if I did it with my dog Bonnie, it would be fabulous. Yeah, you are natural. And then can I ask a question? You yeah. know how you hold the lead mm -hmm. up quite high. Is there any particular reason why you do that? Or? Well, the reason why I do it with this, without putting tension on the leash, it's the best way to still have control and to be in touch with the dog over the leash. Ah. So if they would like smell the carpet or like see something- Get distracted. And then you easily can, I would not say correct, but like can guide them through the leash to do whatever I'm you want them to do. I'm gonna start and do that. Thank you, Peter. Thank welcome. you, thank you, Dylan. <laughs>